yo what is going on youtube it's totem tv here back at it for another video this video is going to be quite interesting and unique because it's not going to be a gameplay video but i wanted to share with you my collection that i have for silent hill i have collected a couple items over the course of the past two years um, i'm fairly new to the whole collection scene i've been collecting a lot of funko pops recently uh back two years ago when i started in bahrain i was collecting funko pops like crazy but right now I have a good collection of some Silent Hill 2 merchandise that I wanted to show off to you and, and give you some uh, insight to what I like to collect. Um, so I have a couple items here I want to show you. So I think I'll start small and then what I'll do is I'll work out to the bigger items. And uh, if you are curious for all the prices for all this merchandise, I can uh, put it inside the um, description below. So that way you can get an idea i'll also uh show you the price as i show them on screen so you'll be able to get a rough idea of how much you're going to be having to shell out if you want one of these items so um but i'll start with some of the small items i actually got two items from the konami well, actually several items from the konami official uh, website so if you go to official konami shop uh, com, i think it is you can go on the website and order based on what collection you're looking for. So they had like Metal Gear Solid, they have Silent Hill, and they have some other, like I think Castlevania and some other merchandise. But mainly we're gonna be focusing on Silent Hill 2. Today, we have one Silent Hill 1 item. Uh, yeah, so Silent Hill 2 is the is the biggest focus. Oh, and Silent Hill 3. Yeah, so <laughs> Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, but mainly Silent Hill 2. So the first item I'm gonna show you on our list today is the Silent Hill greetings from Hum visit and you'll never be the same again so this was one of the original drawings or sketchups of pyramid head and it was presented in silent hill 2. Now, i really love this t-shirt because it's kind of more retro looking and old school but it's also not a black t-shirt it's a brown t-shirt so it's kind of a different style i was expecting it to be black because it looked better with the contrast but i dig the brown because it kind of goes in with the look of pyramid head so I really love the colors on this one, and I'm gonna be wearing this when Silent Hill 2 Remake comes out in October. I'm really excited for that, and I hope you guys are too, but you'll be seeing me wear this when we do our playthrough. It's gonna be freaking awesome. The next item on our list is going to be the same design, but it's gonna be on a mug. And for those who love coffee like me, you can find yourself getting one of these on their website. So this is, let's see if I can do it with a proper lighting. So. You got greetings from Silent Hill and it has the quote on the bottom. And then as you go around the corner, there is Pyramid Head and all the way around. It's, it has a gloss finish to it. There's nothing that feels cheap about it. It's a very nice quality mug. I, I will hand wash this, especially all the ones that I collect that I love. And I also will be drinking my coffee when I play that game. I'm gonna start early in the morning when I wake up on the 6th because I got the early access, the 48 hours. So. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys got the pre-order uh, early access. So I'm really excited to hear about it. We, we, we're getting some good content from that. Getting the, the pizza box. You have uh, Robbie the Rabbit and the, uh, what is it? The Shino Ibu dog face mask from the one of the endings of the, of the game. So I won't do that on the first playthrough, but I guarantee you I'm going to be trolling uh, on the end game pluses to get the 100% trophy platinum on PS5. So um so i'll go ahead and go through the next item on the list so this is going to jump uh to silent hill one uh i'm not really a huge collector in these items but i think i'll start collecting more as i see fit based on what comes out but what i saw was really interesting on their website was were the vinyl records so they had the silent hill one edition uh vinyl record so i went ahead and purchased this because this was actually my original Silent Hill that I played back in 2004. So this is the official Konami shop exclusive, the art and soundtracks of Silent Hill. And so this is kind of like, this is Harry Mason's Jeep and it looks like it's in snow. Really, really cool. And this is where you see yourself at the beginning of the game when you lose your daughter, Cheryl, and she goes running off and you have to go find her. On the back here, you're, you guys are not gonna really be able to see this, but they do have all the tracks on here and they have also available in Silent Hill 2, 3, and 4 of the room. So you, if they have them available, you guys can pick those up. 
but they seem to sell out pretty fast so if they ever pop back in they'll either say they're restocking soon or they'll be in stock so if they're in stock definitely purchase them jumping back to silent hill 2 i got myself this baby right here the silent hill 2 vinyl record and this has the exclusive konami shop label on it and on the back is so freaking sexy dude like i got i gotta be honest it has the freaking nurse on it that uh, art is beautiful but it says sound uh, silent hill 2 original video game track and it says a music by konami digital entertainment and then it gives you the tracks on the side here yep so you can pick this up on the store as well you got your james and you got your maria on the on the front cover so I had to pick this one up, but they sold out pretty fast when they first came out with it. And then once it popped back up after they restocked, I, I bought it. I was like, fuck it. I really need it. All I need right now is a record player. So I think I asked for it for Christmas. So hopefully I get that. All right. Now, the next thing on our list, we will jump to Silent Hill 3. And then from there, I think we will stick with Silent Hill 2. So Silent these ones are actually collaborations that were done with Dead by Daylight. Now, if you guys don't know what Dead by Daylight is, I have it on my my channel, so definitely go check out those videos. So this is the box art for Robbie the Rabbit from Silent Hill 3. And this is a skin that you can buy exclusively for Silent Hill uh, content in Dead by Daylight. You can put it on the killer called the Legion and you basically run around in a rabbit suit with a knife. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, in, the, in the game, they have perk perk uh loadouts and this is kind of like a sketch of a perk loadout but it has robbie the rabbit in here and it says dead by daylight silent hill you got a little bit of a blood splatter effect and you kind of have texture too so you can feel it it's really cool and it's a one six scale pvc statue so mainly all all the statues i have that i'm going to show you are pvc on the sides you have kind of like the artists and producer directors basically all the people who worked on this project to make this happen which is really cool to be able to give um credit where it's due for these awesome people and then right here kind of gives you an explanation of dead by daylight the the character that is featured in and the figures features basically all the stuff it comes with before i show you when you open this box up you can actually slide the sleeve and it looks like the it has the amusement park the lakeside amusement park Kind of like theme on it and it's really freaking cool because once you open this up you can actually see robbie the rabbit in there once if he was in there um and then in the background you can't really see it in here but they have a artwork in the back and the scene inside of it so you could always present him inside that bot inside there or you can keep him out now on the back side you also have some artwork of all four colored rabbits and then you also have it right here too. I mean, even more creepy. So when you open this up, you're like, oh shit. But they have all the colors and stuff. And then this side kind of gives you a little bit more about Silent Hill 3. So it's pretty cool. Ta-da. So this is Robbie the Rabbit. Nice. In pink form. And I had to get in pink form because I had to remain OG and true to Silent Hill 3. And this is where you come across him inside the park. I think actually you come across him in the beginning of the game too. Where he's just sitting there all dead looking da, da, da. but he has all that blood on his face it just looks completely bizarre and scary and you don't want to get near it but so made out of pvc but it has a soft fabric on the outside very very nice looking i really really do like it but you can't really i don't i guess you could tell um so there are blood blood stains right here and you kind of have it on the fabric and then up here on his mouth and he's not movable he's completely all on the bottom side but on his head you can actually tilt his head and move it so you can make it look a little bit more creepy so you can be like, Rrr, like that back side he has his little zip up suit for and it has a little little tail little little bun right there so that's pretty cute but yeah so this is robbie the rabbit and he comes with a couple items so you can put the legion knife that you use in the game where you stab people with he comes with that and then he also comes with a little pipe. Kind of like old school reminiscent of Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill, I think Silent Hill 1 may have, may have had it. They're kind of universal in the games of Silent Hill, so. But it has uh, the blood effect on it and it looks realistic. It looks really nice. Um, and it has texture to it too, which is really cool. Third item, which I'm not sure. Oh shit. I'm not sure if this was actually in Silent Hill 3, but I know you get a chainsaw in Silent Hill 2. So, but you kind of get 
this guy right here i don't have him hold this i don't even know if he can i think he can but i just have it off to the side you get a little chainsaw it's a little bright but it does say to you my dear on the front on the back it says to you my dear as well a pretty good detail to this chainsaw really cool uh and then you have another platform you can put them on so you can put them on this if you like this if you prefer a lighter platform over a darker platform but they're both kind of the same like kg look style for silent hill and then he has a stack of books which i thought was pretty cool because it had a lot of detail in it yeah so that's robbie the rabbit so the next item on our list is actually i would say it's probably my favorite one the art and detail of this item is so freaking good it was one of the few items i put my money into where i'm like wow i really got my money's worth because of the detail on this and it starts with the box itself so the box uh i'm trying to not do it where it has a glare anyways so the box itself has the fog effect to it so this is the bubblehead nurse it's also a one six scale and it's made by iconic studios and they did a phenomenal job with this i gotta i gotta give it to you guys you guys are freaking amazing but the cool thing about this is the actual sleeve that it comes in is has the fog work on it so it's actually there's fog on the actual plastic cover for this thing and it protects the box itself which is really freaking cool but after i remove that we can go ahead and show you this is the bubblehead nurse right and you have her face right here and then on the side you can kind of make out Silent hill 2 bubblehead nurse one six scale collectible figure and then on this side you just have the same thing and on the back side you got the nine squares and you know what that means silent hill 2 fans you, you know what that means we gotta keep that a secret for the people who don't know all right so we got the nine square save point and it gives you a little description gives you a one year free iconic club membership which i don't even know if i even signed up for that but maybe i should Ooh. anyways so yeah that's that boom look at this thing oh my god so, so nice uh i just gotta give it to the man holy crap every time i look at this thing i'm like holy fuck now to get it to position like this you gotta be very careful but it's it's doable you can basically pose her however you want so i kind of put her in that uh like yo i'm about to fuck you up stance that james sunderland would see see her as but so you have down here it has a platform and then it has one of the platforms that like robbie the rabbit sat on but it's glued to this bigger platform which i really love because it shows silent hill 2 down here it kind of gives that off she is carrying her weapon of choice which would be the pipe and you can see very closely if you if you get if i get really close you can kind of make out the gray little textures that make it look like old skin which i think is really cool uh you can't it's not it's very smooth on uh, the touch wow but there's no like actual like feeling of texture on it except that it feels like the that soft skin like latex the material the dress that she's wearing or the nurse outfit it, it's a fabric that was put on her so you can actually stretch it or move it uh, based on how you want her legs to go i thought that was a really cool touch and detail it's not connected to her they might have glued one piece uh through the waistband on her um but even then it feels loose so i don't know but yeah so you have her top part and then you have her sleeves you have her face her hat and then she also has a save point uh square on her on her mouth which is like very iconic so it's actually a removable piece so you can actually remove it and it's i think it's a, a small magnetic piece that you can put on so if you look really closely it has a little bit of a design on it i thought that was a really cool detail and that it wasn't just connected to her you can take it off and then she has a mouth that you can see i'm like oh my god they actually have mouths in this game what wow but yep yeah. and then you just put it right there and she has the save point on her face again so that's a really freaking cool detail huh and then i'll put, go to the back here so i have her positioned and i also have her held by this thing it's it's removable you can take it off and you can have her stand freely i just put it on because i don't want her to fall if you're spending this much money on a figure you want to protect it at all costs and you got a little flare to her finger which i thought was a really cool detail because it kind of is reminiscent of a, a pyramid head and how his his like fingers were connected so i thought that was a really cool touch to this design on the bottom here i'll be very careful to show you but there's blood and smear marks on the tile it looks like a bathroom or a, a doctor's office tile on the floor yeah i just moved her a little bit and she shifted she didn't like that 
you can't really tell but the only the only downside I, I didn't like about this is that you can you kind of have one of her joints right here that's exposed but that's not really a big deal i didn't find that as a big of an issue it's just the only thing that i would find that i didn't like about the figure but other than that though i felt like it was what i got my money's worth was amazing um but yeah so that's the bubblehead nurse for the next item on our our list for our showcase is going to be the protagonist of silent hill 2 james sunderland i will go ahead and give you the box art so boom so the the face that you see right here is the face of james sunderland you see very first thing in silent hill 2 i love how they did the mirror scene for the design of this box and it kind of goes it's not just on the front but it goes onto the side so that is a really cool additional detail and then this one uh has all the craters on there which is really cool it talks about the sculptor's profile which is shinya yamaoka and they got painter's profile katsushiji akiyama yeah I, I i'm sorry if i mispronounced that but this was made by gecko corp produced by gecko corp so gecko produced a lot of these and had them out to everyone and then on this side you have could mary really be there is she really alive waiting for me which which famously was said by james sunderland inside the game talks about silent hill james sunderland himself and then the features for the figure on the back we get once again the nine squares and james sunderland so that is a pretty cool badass looking artwork on the back and it has his jacket very texturized and it looks almost chromatic and shiny and it has his like little flag patch on the side that is the box itself nothing extravagant inside so guys this right here is the james sunderland one six scale figure this piece right here is just pure perfection it has a lot of detail in his jacket so it looks lively and it looks like he actually has something in his pocket but this is the one six scale figure of james sunderland and you have his famous wooden uh, wooden little plank right here that he uses when he breaks it off and fights the lying figure first thing in the game. So you have that detail. You have his original boots that he has with the little like has like the little silver belt thing on the side. So that was a pretty cool uh, detail. You have his hand right here. You have his flashlight and then you have his patches, the frontier patch, the east end patch, and then you got his side patches. And then his face and hair uh so this is actually removable i don't have the other pieces with me but i think he comes with a i think it comes with a great knife the the pyramid knife or no no it comes with a gun i have that in the box i just keep it in there but yeah you can use uh you can replace this like the best thing about this figure is that you can actually just remove this by going like this like that's all you have to do now james sonderland doesn't have an arm look at that or a hand now i have it <laughs> anyways but it's magnetic so you literally just it just snaps right into place i love that because i know some figures where you have to pull things apart and pop them in and you risk breaking it something that you're gonna buy that's this expensive you don't want to do that so they made it very convenient of you just to pull it and then snap right on pull snap right on uh another thing right here i i almost missed was the little health bottles that you pick up in the game the cool thing about this is they're made out of, I think, some type of plastic, but they kind of feel like glass, in my honest opinion. And you have one that looks like it was used with a little cap on the side. And you have one back here that looks a little damaged, a little rubbish. And then right here, you actually have one that's removable. So you can actually take it and you can use it yourself. Just like, But it's also magnetic. So you just put it right there and it snaps right on pretty aggressively too. So this thing's not going anywhere. He's on concrete slab, uh, if you can kind of make off that he looks like he's standing by the edge of one of the streets, which in the original game, you come across these a lot where you are walking down a road and then all of a sudden the road just disappears and you're left with some broken crumbles. And so that kind of like kind of shows that portion of that scene, which I really love the detail in that. But yeah, so that is uh, James Sunderland, one six scale figure. So right here is a Maria. I guess you would say Mary, right? I don't know. Kind of looks like Mary, doesn't it? Or is she Maria? Or is she Mary? Or is she Maria? Anyways, this is the box art and it has the famous gel scene on it. So I thought that was a really cool 
uh details like dang that is freaking awesome and it has the shadows it, it's like it's from the original on the sides you have the sculptor again and the painter profile and then on this side right here you get the quote from mary herself that says i look like mary don't i you loved her right or maybe you hated her so it kind of gives you a little thing about silent hill maria and the figure features and then on the back we get the nine squares once again huh i wonder why we have nine squares well you'll find out when you play silent hill 2 remake by the bloober team on october 8th and i hope you guys do so you got the nice looking maria on the back which is really cool uh and it has her tattoo it has her dress so pretty sweet uh box right here but now that we showed you the box we're gonna show you the figure ladies and gentlemen and here is the Maria 1-6 figure. This is Maria, and as you can tell, she is sitting in front of the rails to the water at the lakeside park. And it's one of those iconic scenes with the fog. So yeah, it kind of gives you that scene effect of her standing there looking at James and her presentation says it all. But she, as you can see, it comes off pretty good in the video, but she has her, her red dress and her skirt, and she has her medallions and, and her necklace and you also have the tattoo on the bottom waistline and her boots and so this is kind of her i'm gonna have to hold her because she's kind of a little rickety you gotta be very careful with this one because she only has one boot that goes into the stand itself but here's the back side that gives you kind of the little details yeah this one has a smaller platform but it's still just as iconic and very stunning to look at um but yeah so this is uh, maria for silent hill 2 and I got my hands on this. It was one of the last ones that was at the store. So I was really excited to get it. And um, if you guys are going to check, going to get this, I definitely recommend it if you're a collector. Uh, but yeah, so that is Maria for Silent Hill 2. Can I get a drum roll, please? Boom! This is Pyramid Head Dead by Daylight Edition. Design has a blood splatter. You have Pyramid Head looking away and on the side you get a description of Dead by Daylight and the Executioner and figure feature, the Gecko Court that designed this figure. And then on this side you have the Sculptor's Profile, Painter's Profile, and the Producer and Director and a lot of others. This part right here is badass and I'm about to show you because it was seen in Silent Hill 2. One of the coolest looking artworks I've seen by this, this team right here is the backside and this gives you pyramid head inside the courtyard of midwich elementary school so that was really freaking cool i really love that design and this is like something that you can like pop a like prop up on the wall or something i'd love to make this into like a poster and put it on the wall it'd be pretty cool but i think i might do it for the original silent hill 2 where you see the painting in the game um but yeah so that's the box art for pyramid head i can't even words can't even describe what i think about this figure right here it is really heavy the base is really heavy and the dude himself is fucking huge but this is pyramid head from silent hill in dead by daylight and let me let me just tell you how freaking stunning this figure looks it is beautiful it has a lot of texture it's kind of movable but it's not fabric it's made out of some type of feels like paper mache slash pat uh Flash plastic, um, but you have his boots, you have zippers on his boots, you have a whole bunch of grainy feeling textures on his boots. And to the to the minute detail, looking at this figure up close, you can see every detail that was put and every effort that was put into this thing. It is badass and iconic. His his helmet itself looks rusted slash it looks like actual metal, which I think is really crazy. You got his hands some, and then rotating around you have his little trail he leaves in dead by daylight it's kind of like the underworld coming out from under the ground every time he puts his knife down and he has his great his great knife that he's holding but it looks like the pieces of the ground and tile are coming up right here and it looks like lava slash hell is coming up from from below and on top of that you have other pieces right here that have barbed wire and kind of like the theme of that is the barbed wire now this comes in several pieces his knife itself his uh he has a couple posts in the back here that come apart and also the barbed wire itself comes apart so there are instructions to put this thing together 
and it, let me tell you it is fun to put it together it's not too hard either but yeah as you can tell here's the back side of it and you can kind of get a little bit more detail right there but as you can tell put it up to my head he is he is huge so um you are looking at a bigger space his profile of his stand is a little bit larger it's not round it kind of has a little protrusion out on this side so you need a little bit of a bigger surface to put them on if you're gonna get this bad boy but this guy right here was one of, one of the first ones i think actually it was the first one that i got out of all of them um because it was released on on top of robbie the rabbit and i saw it and i was like yes gotta get it i've seen a bigger figure for this guy by another company and it was just too expensive for me but this one uh still was pretty expensive oh yeah so this is the pyramid head from silent hill 2 aka dead by daylight so yes all right guys so the last couple items i'm going to show you before we finish off this video are items that i've made for my cosplay outfit that i did in bahrain back in 2021 this Comic-Con was actually a really fun one for me because it was my first time where I got out of my comfort zone and I jumped up on stage and performed. It was a pretty cool performance, but I wouldn't say it was the best. I kind of just walked up there and kind of went back and forth and pretended like I was depressed like James Sunderland. And then I walked off the stage and it, yeah, they kind of kicked me off the stage because my video was too long. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Uh, I had a good time and a lot of other people were there that were also newcomers and doing this for the first time They were also nervous and we we shared the same passion and I made a lot of good friends out there I really do appreciate you by rain. I, I, I love you guys and I, I hope I come back one day because I had a great time out there But anyways, this is not about Bahrain. This is about Silent Hill 2 But from Silent Hill 2 I have this rubber pipe that I got that I used inside of my prop for my I designed for my James Sunderland cosplay outfit and I use this kind of for my performance acting like I was hitting line figures and shit. So it's made out of rubber, uh, but if you hit someone hard enough or hit something hard enough, it's going to break or it's going to hurt. Um, but yeah, so I got this. It has a little bit of texture on it. it kind of looks real from a far, from like far away, but it's really not. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool addition to my collection, so I wanted to show you that. The next thing for our cosplay uniform, it was the infamous flashlight that we received inside Silent Hill 2. Not the same exact one, it's obviously a little bit bigger, but it's a field uh, army. I don't know what type of flashlight it is, but I got something that looks similar to it. So this is the flashlight right here. It comes with, uh, you have to put batteries in it, but it comes with a working light inside. And I always thought like when I saw these flashlights, they were fake. I didn't know they were actual real flashlights and people that were in the army and other services would wear these and they would just put on their jacket so you can see ahead of you. So you see these a lot in old type horror games, um, but I never thought they were a real thing that they were just made up for the video games. Um, but this is the MX99 IU or something like that. So, but yeah, so you have a little clip on the bottom here. Um, so you can actually clip it to something if you wanted to it comes out somehow I don't remember how but there's a clip right there on the bottom and then this is kind of like the Overall look of it. It looks plasticky plasticky up close, but from far away it kind of looks fine um, But you put it in the jacket and you can wear it on the side here. You have the switch So you just shift it up and it'll turn on the light. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that so We got the light right there and I'm trying to add so it kind of looks pretty pretty cool um but yeah you can like shine it i'll shine it behind me and it actually goes pretty far so it's a pretty good uh actual flashlight that you could use if you really need to in an emergency but um but you can put the, the those big batteries inside here i think the, the d3 or whatever they call them the batteries i think it takes two of them you just throw them in there and, and it lights up so this is the the field flashlight that i use inside my cosplay now the next thing on our list is going to be the jacket and this will be actually second to last item that i will show you today for my collection but this is the jacket that i had made for my cosplay uniform and it's just a typical field jacket you can find them online anywhere um but it, it is a real jacket and you can actually use it and wear it and it keeps you warm i've tested it during the winter so it's actually a nice jacket um but it has your pockets right here so you got the bottom pocket you got the top pocket where you can put the flashlight in there so that's a pretty cool detail i got my flag patch and then you got the side patch right here 
that I ironed on and then the other side has a side patch and then you have the east end and frontier patches I got these on Etsy and there are a lot of great artists out there for Silent Hill so if you like to collect things Silent Hill related go on Etsy they have everything that you can find on there um, but there's a lot of great people in there I really appreciate y'all for doing that stuff because it helps me out um, it makes me happy so I appreciate it and then down here you got another the you know, other pocket so and on the back it's just a plain flat back um, so nothing much to it on the inside you have the material that jackets kind of like a softer uh, type material um, that you feel inside of like if you're buying a suit and they're tailoring it you can have that in the back so that way it's not like itchy um, and then up here you have like the design and the, the size so this is a large and you have now I don't know what they call these in the civilian world, but in the military world they call these shoulder boards. Uh, you got shoulder board flaps, so you can put like uh, this would be used for insignias or ranks that you can put on. So in the army they probably have their own, but and this would identify your rank. So that's another pretty cool touch. You can fold the flap up here so you can have down, and then it has a little hanger to it. So that is the James Sunderland jacket that I got and designed uh, myself. The last thing on my list, I'm going to go back to another Pyramid Head because Pyramid Head is so iconic to Silent Hill, it's not even funny. And everyone loves Pyramid Head and what he looks like. Anyways, this is something that my brother-in-law got me back a couple Christmases ago and I really love it. It's just a, it's a smaller figure of Pyramid Head and has a little bit more detail that the bigger figure never had. Um, but as you can tell right here, you got the little tiny um, Pyramid Head and so he's actually really cool looking. I actually kind of like his helmet design a little bit more than the bigger one but you kind of this is more of like old school Silent Hill 2 like the original um, looking pyramid head but you can kind of tell by his little thing back here the little glob or whatever it is nobody ever really could figure out what that was but that that is in there and then if you look from the bottom you can actually see it. you can actually make it out underneath him too so like his whole head is made of this like globby stuff which is pretty creepy stuff so. um, yeah, so this is my the last item, um, what I collected in my Silent Hill so far. All right, guys, so we got a couple more items and we will finish it off. So the next thing on our list are going to be the games that I collected. Don't ask me how much I spent on these, but they cost me a good amount and I really need I really wanted them. So I got the PlayStation original Silent Hill copy um, in its original case. Uh, Pick this one up. I think on eBay and I won it on a bid. So you got the back artwork on it too. So that's pretty cool. And then on the inside, you got the game disc itself. And then you have the uh, little back bar box art for the original PlayStation when they came out. Man, I really do miss these days where they came out with these things. It was so good. Um, but yeah, so that's place that's for the Silent Hill one game. The next one is obviously Silent Hill 2 because everyone loves Silent Hill 2, but this is the, the greatest hits edition of Silent Hill 2. And on the back here, you have the box art and all the original stuff on it. And then in the inside, you have the game disc itself, and then you have the uh, manual. There's that, and then you also have the memory card holder if you guys know that, oh my God. The next one on the list is Silent Hill 3 for all the Silent Hill 3 fans out there. I actually really love Silent Hill 3. I thought that was a really good addition in the series. I enjoyed that one just as much as I enjoy Silent Hill 2. You got Cheryl slash Heather Mason on the front here, and on the back you got the box art. So that's really cool. And this one's, it's like, I, I, I'm glad that it came not perfect because it has all like the scratches, all like the nails and everything. And that's kind of like what the games looked like when you were a kid, because you were always touching them. You were always playing with it. And over a while, it'll just get dirty. So on the inside, you have the game disc itself. And then you got, you got Heather Mason right here waiting for you to read the manual. So that was pretty cool. And then the last one, which I am ashamed of saying, I have not played through Silent Hill 4. I played through the beginning and I'm stuck somewhere. I don't even know what's going on in this game. However, I heard this game was just as great as other games. And if not another one of those most iconic, one of the most iconic games in the Silent Hill series, Silent Hill 4 of the Room. I remember when I was a kid and I was looking at games to buy in GameStop with my dad. I saw this game 
I don't know if I picked it up. I don't think I did, but I always wondered what it was going to be like because I always thought it was creepy and I always saw the door with the chains on it. I'm like, oh, I wonder what's behind the door. Is it creepy? Like, I always thought that was scary. And so I always thought it was like you were going into a room that you were going to find you were going to find this room and you got to figure out how to get into it to finish the game. But that's not the case. You apparently are locked inside of a room and that's the door leading out of the apartment. So I, I was like, what? Um, but anyways, this is the back side of it. Um, the original box art for it, the room full of nightmares. So I am going to finish playing that one. So. But we have right here, the box art, we have the manual and the game itself. So that's the Silent Hill 4 game right there. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the second to last item for this video. Uh, I know it's been going on for a little bit, but here is another mug that I got a while back. Um, but this is the Silent Hill 1 mug. And this is the first one I got on the Konami shop. And it's the piano uh, puzzle from the game. And it says there's some blood on some of the keys. So that famous line when Harry Mason's walking to, and he's looking at the keys. And it says there, there, there is some blood on some of the keys. So it's just the, the famous meme. I don't know. The certain words or phrases that are said in that game are questionable. But it makes it even, even more like, iconic. So... But yeah, so this ended up being like one of the puzzles you had to solve in, si in the original Silent Hill uh, with the piano. But it has kind of like red on the for the handle and then you have a little bit of a red trim up here and red on the inside. And then you have the, the mug itself and it's it's made of the same texture as the, the one I just showed you earlier, previously. So but yeah, so that's that mug. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so for the last item on the list, and I really love this one because not really a lot of people I felt like ordered this one because it never went out of stock online but I had to get it because I thought this was iconic because it was my first Silent Hill and I remember looking at this map as a kid and it's the most iconic thing that I saw when I was a kid for this game I just thought it was I guess you would say magical I don't know mysterious maybe because I was wondering oh what I wonder what's over on this street or I wonder what's over here and that's all that I thought but anyways I got a, a framed photo of the original silent hill map this is the old silent hill so this is the map that you see when you play the very first game and you have midwich elementary school that you end up going to over here and then you got it's such a simple basic grid square grid of a video of a, of a, of a map for a video game and this is how simple it was back then guys and so it's very nostalgic and very um i'm very humbled that i was able to get the experience of playing this game but yeah so that is the uh map for silent hill one and it comes in a huge frame sorry it's kind of out of frame but yeah so that's that's the map right there um yeah so there's my collection anyways guys i really appreciate you sticking around to watch this video i really do and if you stuck around this long, please uh, like and subscribe. I highly suggest that you guys go check out these items and if you purchase them, it's definitely worth it. They're all of great quality and there are a couple other items I wanna buy from the official Konami shop, including the coin puzzle box. But anyways, if you guys are really excited for Silent Hill 2 Remake, please also let me down in the comments because I will be and I will be doing a playthrough series on that when it comes out and i will be playing on max difficulty and also in the no ui slash grain film so no help and going in max difficulty because i want to have the true silent hill or experience and i hope you guys do too but i don't i won't i won't bash you too much if it's your first time playing through this game and you want to have a little bit of uh, help in it but definitely do try it once you go through the first time around but yeah, anyways, I really appreciate you guys' time, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.